we're gonna do this, I want us to be on the same page. And if I ask you something, no matter how many times I ask you, if you can just let me know what's going on. I'm a top level executive. But I wouldn't dare say that out loud. And I'm gonna just leave it at that. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Good for you, bitch. Yourself before you get checked. Who gonna check me, boo? Absolutely, oh, girl. Honey, Absolutely. <laughs> <sighs> hey, y'all, this is Tamika, the face behind Hey HR, and welcome to HR After Dark. So, this letter is saying, Tamika, Nebraska is a one-party consent state. However, I recently found that our CEO has recorded meetings with employees to then use their words or information out of context in order to make the employee look bad and to manipulate situations to their advantage. What can I do? There's several things that's missing here, right? Because this is a super short letter. Are you working in HR? How did you find out about the recordings? Give me some examples of how they're manipulating situations. You really don't have to give me examples. I can definitely imagine, but I like to know because sometimes we think it's manipulating situations when it's really bringing out people's dirty laundry. I need you to help me with those things, right? Because Nebraska is like South Carolina and it's a one party consent state. And if y'all don't know what one party consent state means, that just literally means that like, as long as one person out of that conversation knows that it's being recorded, then you're okay. Bad thing about it is the person who can know can also be the person who's doing recording. So that means that person can be recording everybody and they, nobody knows except that person. I also wanna know like, how big is your company? Why are employees going to the CEO to have conversations? Is that a welcome thing? And I would imagine it isn't because they're obviously giving them a different level of like information. I first need to know, do you work in HR? If you do work in HR, I absolutely would like, let the CEO know that that's not the best thing to do and that he should definitely discard those. I ain't your average HR person though. So me, I'm going to send these employees some clues to tell them shut the hell up. Like, don't be telling them that man your business. If it's somebody I can trust, over time, you got to learn if there's certain people you can trust. People will use stuff against you. But, like, definitely it would be helpful to let these people know that they're being recorded. The next thing I would say is you can absolutely report this. If you guys have like either a compliance department, maybe a conflict of interest department, maybe a board of directors, I personally would tell the employee, if I didn't work in HR, I go tell this employee like he recording you. He is not recording you. Be prepared that everybody is probably not going to receive that information right. Because there's some people who going to be like, Oh, she's jealous. Why is she telling me this? And start telling on you. So, so many different details that's missing in this. But if you're an HR professional, then I would look at definitely reporting this to like a neutral party or investigating this and see like what are the things that he's recording is it video is it just audio is it a combination of both like I would definitely do an investigation I would reach out to employees who may have been impacted see what their conversations were see what happened and I would I would go into an absolute thorough investigation as an HR professional if there's not another party like another board an equal board because some people, some some companies just have another board outside of HR, which I personally like because so many people think that HR works just for the company. But I would go into a heavy ass investigation and like air it all out and tell him he got the fixes and report his ass to the board of directors if there's a board of directors. If it's a small company, he's the only CEO and I know he doing this and I already cleared my heart and told other people, child, I was going to find me another job and get the hell up out there. Because if you're recording me and recording other employees, what else are you doing? It just makes me wonder about the CEO's integrity. It makes me wonder about the direction of this company. It makes me wonder about my paycheck. Is my paycheck really right? Like, I've been trusting y'all to deposit this money and trusting that y'all paying my taxes. I might find at the end of the year y'all ain't paying my taxes. I don't know. It just makes me wonder about people's integrity with stuff like that. I would definitely, as an HR employee, look at a way to investigate and report. And if I investigated, then I would come up with a resolution after that investigation is done. Obviously, we're using my executive leaders outside of the CEO. If I'm just a regular ass employee, I'm going to holler at this employee be like yo stop telling your business he recording you and you should report it because it happened to them but 
But if you want, you're more than welcome to hit the link below. Give me some more details. Like, flush this thing out a little bit more for me. I will never, ever call your name. So don't get worried about that. I mean, I think on this submission, you did put your name. Yeah, you put your name in. Yeah, even your subject is just called Leader is Secretly Recording Meetings. Yeah, help me out. Give me a little bit more so I can work through this. I don't know if you saw our last HR After Dark, but that person gave me a whole synopsis. So I was able to give back some good information. Kind of look at that. I'll put the link to that one down below too. And let me see see what I can help you with a little bit more because I want to give you more of a direct approach. I feel like that might have taken care of both an employee and a non-employee. But you let me know in the comments. So that's our second HR After Dark. If you're interested in submitting your letter, then definitely hit the links in the description box. Because girl, I'm here to help you with the things HR, SEI, and SHRM is not teaching. The stuff that they really never tell you is going to happen on the job. I'm here to help you out. Submit your letter.